Hi everyone, Julie Henderson here, and today's PicMonkey tutorial is going to be on Facebook and making Facebook cover photos for different groups. So I'm using PicMonkey. Um, that is just a website, PicMonkey.com, and there are a couple ways to do this. You can go to Design and then click on Facebook cover, and if you use the uh, Facebook cover option that way, you're able to add photos as overlays. And if you watch a couple of my other videos, you can see exactly what overlays are, but you're able to add overlays and you're able to add text and anything else you like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it as a collage. So I'm gonna go to computer, because that's where I wanna pick my photos from. And I usually have somewhat of an idea what I wanna do for photos, and for some reason today, I don't. So I'm just gonna kinda wing it and go see what happens as I go. Um, so over here on the left, you're gonna see layouts. Now you might notice it shows up square automatically. At the bottom here, you can adjust your sizes. But what I like to do is just go right over here to the layouts on the left, and then choose Facebook cover. And then it really doesn't matter which one of these you choose because you can adjust it as you go. So I'm gonna go back up to this for the images, and I am just gonna take my image and drag it over. Now I can do a couple of things, like I can move it all around this way, I can um, change the spacing in between the photos, I can round the corners, I can change the background color. Um, so I'm just gonna add a couple more photos on here. We'll pick this one here. We'll do this one, and then let's do one more. Actually, maybe we'll do two more. And then I'll just play around and see what, what I like the most. Okay, so I have my pictures chosen, and I am just gonna start to pull them over. So um, what's gonna happen is, my profile picture is gonna show up on the bottom left. So sometimes what I like to do is, this is just a little trick, you can put another photo there and then just X out. And so that way, this, your uh, profile picture isn't gonna block that. And then maybe we'll put, you know, we're gonna move this one over there. X out of that one. There, so that's all I'm gonna do for this. Um, if you wanted to afterwards, you could um, go to edit if you wanted to write anything in. I actually like it just like this. You know, I might do this one, just these photos. All right, I'm gonna do it just like this, okay. so. You can go to edit and then open an editor. And then I could add text anywhere I wanted. Like sometimes I'll add, you know, a little arrow that says add me for support. You know, sometimes I don't add anything. This white area here, don't in the bottom left hand corner, don't worry about that because your your cover photo or your profile picture is gonna go in front of that. So you'd be missing out on that anyways. And then you just go ahead and save it to your computer, you know, name it anything you want. And then I'm just gonna save it right to my desktop. And then that's it, that's as simple as it is. So if you were to do it through the design, you're gonna have a blank canvas. And so to add those photos, you would need to add them as overlays. And so with the overlays, you have less options for um, editing and resizing things.
And so you're kind of stuck with the shapes and the sizes that you have. But there's still a lot that you can do with it and it still gives you that basic size. But like, you know, you're gonna have to eyeball the, the spaces in between. I'm just gonna move that over. And so it might not be as clean of a look as you're looking for. But that's just another thing too that you can do. Um, so I hope that helped. And if there's anything else you want to see in videos, please let me know.